How long does it take to empty a one litre bottle full of water? Discover it with us. Turn the bottle upside down so the force of gravity allows the water to stream out. As you can see, the flow is continuously interrupted to allow for air to take the place of the evacuated water. We need about 15 to 17 seconds for the bottle to empty. Can we be any quicker? If we quickly rotate the bottle creating a vortex that allows air to enter, the water streams out without any interruption, flowing down through the extremities of the vortex. Here we have reduced the time needed by a third, and it's a huge improvement. But if we said that we could do better? Well, if we insert a straw into the bottle, turn the bottle upside down and blow into the straw, the pressure created greatly stimulates the water streaming process. The improvement is extraordinary. We have cut the time by half in respect to the second trial. So what's behind this feat? In the first case, the introduction of air continually interrupted the water stream. This, as a result, generated turbulence that through its irregular and discontinued movement disturbed the water particles that as a result collided with each other and dispersed the energy needed. Similarly, this happens in our companies when we strive to do our best without a common goal. The vortex in the second case, however, notwithstanding the turbulence present, created a continual stream of both air and water along the bottleneck. This demonstrates that all elements in a system, once aligned, can achieve a targeted and regular stream of things. In the third case, the insertion of air through the straw allowed us to stabilize the water and avoid any form of turbulence whatsoever. Here, we have demonstrated clearly that the process that we control, whatever they may be, can be made simple and easy by adopting simple methods. So, is it possible to obtain a stable environment without turbulence and a quick hyperstream? The answer is yes. Thank you.